A Qatar lobbyist files a case against the UAE. Stick around to find out why. A top Qatari official slams mainstream media for quote Israeli exceptionalism. Six young men have been arrested following a brutal attack on an Asian resident in the desert. And finally, an April Fool stunt goes wrong for Palestine supporters. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. A Qatar lobbyist in France has filed a case against the UAE and Alp Services, a Swiss-based economic intelligence company, for spying on her and invading her privacy. Sihim Suede's move explicitly targets the UAE government and the Swiss agency, French investigative outlet Mediapart reported, weeks after it found a possible misinformation campaign against Qatar was carried out through a network reportedly coordinated by the Alp Services on behalf of the Emiratis. For the entire developing story, head over to our website. Now, Qatar's Minister of State for International Cooperation, Lulu Al Khatar, has blasted the mainstream media for its quote, Israeli exceptionalism. The comments came after Israeli occupation forces attacked a Palestinian Cup final last week. In a tweet, the vocal official said, Had this been done by any other country, it would have been the main headlines. But it's the Israeli exceptionalism where it acts and it's being treated as a country above international law. Now, a group of six young men have been arrested in Qatar after a video of them assaulted an Asian man in the desert went viral on social media. The graphic video shows a lone Asian man stripped of his shirt and whipped by the assailants before being forced into a car. Online, Qataris and residents have applauded authorities for upholding the laws of justice. And finally, an April Fool stunt by a Palestinian rights group based in Manchester has been slammed as extremely irresponsible. On April 1st, Man Palestine Action released a video on social media that appeared to show a Puma spokesperson confirming the end of the company's with Israel. Ecstatic pro-Palestine supporters welcomed the move and many said they would now buy Puma products after years of boycotting. However, the group followed up with a tweet to clarify it was just an April Fool stunt. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.